Hey, what is going on guys? Alpha Gamer 12 here with another trading guide. So last time you guys were amazing. Thank you so much for all of the support that I got on the last video that I made. So I got a bunch of requests to do another one. So we are doing another one with another couple of ways that you guys can make coins. Now I want to preface this with saying that if you guys want to make the largest number of coins that you possibly can, the bronze pack method is insane. Okay. I cannot recommend that you do anything else if you have to pick one specific trading method just do the bronze pack method it makes so many coins and it doesn't take any effort and you can do it with your brain off while you're watching some one you're watching another video if you're doing something else that being said you don't make a lot of money on each one specific card with the bronze pack method and i can get that it's really tedious and a lot of people find it boring so for that reason let's move on to some different uh, methods that I have uh, used that I've been using which have been uh, pretty pretty good for me so as you guys can see I have sold just so many informs okay and I kept them here on my transfer list so I could show you that all of them do sell just it depends on their price right so all of these went so I picked up all of these El El uh, Arabi that's his name I picked them all up today for 13k or below so this one of them was 12k and then two of them were 12.5 and then I'm, I got one more that I'm selling and that one was the 13,000 one, right? So I listed all of them for either 15.2 or 15 and they all sold for that price, right? So um, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to show you guys what I do with informs and how we can sell them. So let me clear my transfer list really quick and let's go. So basically what I want to do is you want to check out, first of all, the way the way that I do this, that's the easiest, this is the most simple way, like the, the base level, is go to your, it's not objective, sorry. You want to go to, um, either you can open up Flathead, I just don't want to have to like link my computer to the recording, can't be bothered. So you want to go to the item releases, uh, let me out please. Okay, EA, thank you for being useless. I hate how slow EA is. Um, Okay, here's the team of the week, right? So you want to look at the team of the week, and it's much easier if you do pull it up on on uh, on foot foot uh, bin, like I've got it. I've got it up here. You guys can't see it, but I do have it up, right? And and on foot bin, it keeps you a live update of how much each of the cards are worth, right? So I'm looking at these. I'm looking at it over on my screen over here. And Rafinha is worth 13.25k. Otavio is worth 14k. Um, and Al Arabi is worth 14.5k. Okay, so those are the three that we want to focus on. If a card is above 20k, there's no problem sniping it and there's no problem trading with it. I have no issue. But it's a lot easier to get these lower rated cards that aren't worth so much. But the problem is it also goes the other way. It's so easy to get one of the ones that's worth 10k because they're just discard value. You can get them for 10k, but there's no selling value because everyone on the market is worth 10k. So Let's start with Al Arabi because I have sold so many of him so far. And what I want to say about this card, just between, um, oh, is it uh, is it connected? Hold on. Oh, it's with an E. That's what it is. Okay. So what I want you guys to pay attention to is if you guys can pick these Al Arabi cards up uh, during the beginning half of the week, hold or list them for high, make your coins, but. Um, just uh, hold on to him because he's very likely to increase. All 84 informs are currently above 20k. And there's no reason for this card to be any different, right? Okay, so he's currently sitting at 14.5, exactly what Footprint says. So let's drop it down to about 13 and a little bit. And see if we can't snipe one for a little bit under the price. So I, I was able to pick up four of them earlier today. Um, we're just going to, you know, cross our fingers and hope that we grab one. If not, it's not a big deal. We can move on to the next one. And it just comes down to the timing that you're trying to snipe them and stuff. But yeah, this card, if you can pick them up even at that 14k that he's currently sitting at. Um, I'm bad at sniping, by the way. And it might just be that there's none on the market too. Um, but yeah, if you can pick him up at that 14k, first of all, it wouldn't be impossible for you to overlist him at that price, right? So... Um, He's currently going for 14k and he listed for a little bit less. I'm hoping that one goes for 15k, but he should rise up to approximately uh, 15k. He should be 15k by the by the uh, by the end of the week. He should be not 15k. Sorry, he should be about 20k by the end of the week, right? So um, I'm not gonna pick him up here for 14k. I don't I don't want to pay that much. I'm gonna see if I can't bid. So first I try to snipe, and if I can't snipe them, I'm just gonna look at the bids. So yeah, I'm gonna bid on that on that and I don't care so much I mean I don't need to get him for exactly this cheap 
anything like at 13k so whatever i would be willing to snipe him at is what i'm gonna bid up to right so i'm gonna just bid on all of these um and just bid a little bit higher right okay and then i'll do one more and then we'll go watch them on our transfer list right whatever happens happens with these i don't care so much but yeah i would hold on to these because they're likely to double in price so the next one that i want to look at is that rafinha uh, yeah, okay, let's just go look at the Rafinha and I'm hoping that I get these um, These a lot of these right and actually I won't do the Rafinha on camera because I've shown you guys already uh, What it is exactly that you need to do to try to get these cards, right? So I'm outbid on one of them All of them actually, okay, that's fine. I don't care because that's all below what it's actually worth So I'll go to 13 on all of oh, I'll go 13.25 then on this one But I'm not gonna go above that on any of these um okay that's fine i'll go 13.25 on all of them and if i get outbid at that point okay i'm not going that high in that one nope so some people are crazy so yeah i would just come back and try to bid on these and sometimes you can get a steal right and if you don't i don't really care that much it's not that big of a deal because you will eventually get them and you will be able to snipe them sometimes so the other thing that i've done and uh, like I, I have proof right but i just wasn't lucky enough to get them so like i got this mario rui he's worth 25 ish k i got him for 19k so you can so the other thing that i do uh let me clear the expired ones that we don't care about right so i was able to win uh one of the a lot of these that's nice okay cool so that's about 2k profit. So you want to look at these silver cards because um, the silver card method is something that I've been doing for the past couple of FIFAs, which you guys can also take advantage of uh, as long as you have the patience, right? So you want to look, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys what the filter is, but you want to look for cards on that filter and then you want to list them. It, it takes a little bit longer because you actually have to check each card individually twice, once when you bid on it and once when you're listing it. And sometimes you get kind of unlucky like that one where you're only going to be making about 100 or 200 coins profit. The same with this one. I got kind of unlucky and it's kind of my fault because I didn't list them immediately. They've been sitting in my transfer list for about two hours now. But yeah, sometimes you get one like this where you'll be able to make a decent amount of coins. Someone should pick this one up for that much. Um, but what's important with this is you want to under list them. So if like there it was at 2000 coins. Um, you don't want to list it for 2,000 coins, right? You want to list it for a lot less because otherwise they won't sell and the, the prices of these silver players is extremely volatile. So you want to go 250 coins and then you want to go at like like 1K min buy now and then you want to go all the way up to a, like 9K-ish. So we're filtering out all of the like insta-listed ones and then we're just going to check their prices. So if we can make something of like like at least 300, 400 coins on each of these, then we're going to bid on it. But we're not going to bid more than 250 coins on any of these. We're just going to bid 200. And the most important thing about this, guys, is don't re-bid, right? So this one looks really good, right? It's got a bunch of listings. All of them are above 2K. We're not going to re-bid on this, right? Going to bid the first time. And I don't care that these are getting into like long like amounts of like it's going to be like popping up later right i don't i don't care so i'm just gonna bid and the market is really bad i didn't mean to do that um the market is really bad so it doesn't show you everything that's here this guy no way he has a uh there's no way that guy has a value this guy probably does especially because he's got a chemistry style so we can bid 300s on rares because they usually have a little bit more value and i would bid a little bit more on that one because he's got a chemistry style but this is the idea Right, you, you just want to go through these silver cards and look at what's available and you want to try to bid, bid on these, right? And sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't, doesn't really matter. But the point is you can list them up and a lot of the time you'll be able to make, you know, 500 coins, 600 coins. But sometimes you get lucky and you'll make like 2,000 coins. But um, those are my two methods that I've been doing recently other than the bronze back method, which again, I really, really advocate and I think you guys should do. Um, for the inform cards, uh, you can, it'll get easier as the week goes on. So the Alarabi will obviously go up in price, but also there'll be more that you can try to snipe. So as like, keep using it, but look for better deals as the week goes on and his prices will go up. Right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. If you guys want to see more, I will be looking actively for more methods that we, I can share with you guys. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.